Rick Nagji here. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be looking for the first time at the Rob Zombie Monsters movie. Now, I know a lot of you want me to just get right into it so that you can see the trailer, but also so that you can see my reaction. There are a couple things that I need to let you know. I have not seen the trailer. I don't know anything about it. This is the first time. I'm, I'm a little nervous because I've invested a lot of myself telling you about this movie and the production and we've, we've seen things being created. Now it's a teaser trailer, so it's gonna tease us a little bit. But what are some of the things that I'm expecting or want to see? I wanna see Butch Patrick, I wanna meet Pat Priest, I wanna see some stuff in black and white, I wanna see some of the guest stars, I wanna see the music. Like, even if it's different music, even if Rob kind of changed the original theme song or anything like that, I want it to kind of end as the original right i want to hear that if i hear that i'm going to get goosebumps like it's going to be amazing i want to see what the actors do how they act uh, if they act well and all that so there's so much again you're going to see my reactions um i hope you're excited for this if you're interested in looking at the actual trailer below below in the description i'll leave a link and it'll say full trailer or teaser trailer click here it's going to be in the actual description of the video you click there and you can watch it without me talking and everything you're just going to see my reactions to it and then i'm going to break down a few things that i've seen and uh, we'll just get right into it so without further ado let's watch this trailer I'm excited to see what it is and i'm going to tell you my thoughts if this is really bad then i'm going to tell you my thoughts so let's just get started okay <laughs> just see okay my reactions here this is this is crazy okay without looking you've all seen it now okay we start with the original opening of the monsters right the breaking of the door with Herman we're introduced to Lily we're introduced to grandpa but we only see the three of them okay there's no there's no Marilyn there's no Butch Patrick that makes me think is this a prequel we've talked about that a little bit or is he holding off now first thing it says coming 2022 so this film is going to be released this year i like that it looks crisp it doesn't look grainy so it's 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 going to look very clear to us and so forth herman's mannerisms i love them they're great like they're enough for me to go into the actual film and believe it lily i wasn't thinking anything like I wasn't thinking that that wasn't her I was just like okay Lily and then grab but it, it, it passed so fast I'm gonna have to watch it again I'm gonna have to watch it again because I am not sure that I caught it all if that makes sense so let me look at it again so I'm gonna look at it once more okay the monster's home Rob Zombie film with the text Herman breaks through It's the exact opening to show up. Now in living color, black and white color, we have both. Well, now what? Okay, I am, 
I'm just, okay, let's go over a few things because this is super important. We start out with, let me just lower the volume here. We start out with the Munch, Munster's Mansion that Rob built in Budapest, Hungary. And that's what we see. We see smoke, right? Yeah, we see smoke coming out. So the smoke is CGI, I can tell, um, which is fine. I don't need it to be real. Like it doesn't ruin the, the movie or the effect for me or anything like that. It's, it's great. The house looks great. There's, oh, there's the coach on the bottom. Do you see that? I just spotted that. On the lower left-hand corner, that looks like the Munster's coach. Let me see. Doesn't that look like a car? Like barely, I could be wrong, but that looks like the Munster's coach. We're gonna keep going. So we're greeted with the porch, the Munster's porch, the front door, and Herman breaks straight through. I mean, that's one of the original trailers. It's from season two, that's the latter trailer. He looks down, he's kind of like, you know, oops, right? And then he has that silly look where he's like, Ooh, you know, and he goes out. So we see Herman Munster in his glory. It's not a replicated impression of him, but it's all right. It works. Like, it's believable. I see that and I'm like, yes, okay. It's awesome. Now we continue on a little bit more. Again, it's a teaser trailer. It's supposed to tease you to bring you into the movie. It's only 52 seconds long. Then we see Lily coming out. She has a briefcase. And she does have the Lily swing of her head and the mannerisms in her. She's elegant, right? That's what Lily Munster does. And she, Sherry Moon Zombie studied Yvonne DiCarlo in this part. She did. Now, she's a little bit thinner in facial structure, but that's okay because I know some people say that. She's not as full as Yvonne DiCarlo is. And she does the looking okay so i'm just i'm i'm very specific with mannerisms here and she does it she does the hearing and she does the little thing like this um so important and then you kind of see her checking right to see if if there's like water or or anything is like that okay i'm i'm amazed this is awesome I'll tell you the bad too, okay? Now grandpa comes in with the shovel. He can't go through, right? It hits, right? It hits the border of the door. So he can't completely walk through. And he goes, oh, okay. And then he, and then he turns it around so that he's able to walk through. And then we have a quick zoom in to grandpa and he goes <laughs> like that. That is pretty much a replication of how it actually happens. After Grandpa walks back, we should see Marilyn, we should see Eddie, but we don't. I would say those are the negatives. What's going on? Again, he's teasing us. They might appear later. I think they're going to appear later. But the thing is, that's just how he's introducing it. We see the text, the monsters. All new movie, so we know it's a movie. Coming 2022. I mean, we're in June, July, August, September, October, November, December. We have six more months to go. This is going to come out within six months. I'll say probably within the next four months, or I'm even saying Halloween, we will see. But it says now in living color, and that's important because we had this whole beginning of the trailer in black and white. Now it's in color. So my impression, I was correct. There's gonna be black and white and it's gonna be mixed. There might be a little black and white, but mostly color. And so I'm very happy about the mix of both. That's what I wanted. We see him inside the Munster's Mansion just waiting. They're waiting to go on a trip. There's luggage on the right hand side. There's even like a coffin with a tag, like they're flying out somewhere. There's luggage, there's suitcases. The Munster's Mansion looks a little bit funky. There's even a little bit of a spider web along the lens of the camera on the top. I don't know how I like that. I hope that wasn't an error. It doesn't look too great. It's just on the top there. I don't know if you noticed that. The lamp. The Munster's Mansion isn't a crazy faithful reproduction, but it's okay. There's lifts on Herman's shoes. And there's something else that I noticed. Grandpa has an accent here. It's, it's more like Transylvanian versus like, what are you talking about? Like a New York accent or Brooklyn? That's what we got with the original. This is more European. Well, and um, now what? I'm not upset with that. It's a deeper voice. He's feigning a deeper voice. 
and they're just waiting there. There's a little bit of awkward silence. That's just what it is. And then we hear, Well, now what? Now what? He says, now what? Right, like, like a German-esque, like a Hungarian last name. Now we know by the end, it is written and directed by Rob Zombie, okay? He wrote and directed this film. It's rated PG, we see it on the bottom. It's coming out with Universal Entertainment 2022. So we get a lot of information from this trailer. I'm, I'm blown away. It's, it left me happy. It left me excited. It left me wanting to see more. Tell me your thoughts down below. I am very excited. I think this is the best trailer we could have gotten. Yes, I would have wanted to see the Monster Coach or more scenes. I think that's my only negative. I would have wanted to see more. It's a teaser trailer. I get it. For a lot of teaser trailers, they put more in there. And when we get to the legitimate trailer, which will be like two, two and a half minutes long, it'll tell us a story, it'll show us a lot of all the characters, I know there'll be more. So I'm not unhappy with this. I would give this eight and a half, almost a nine out of 10. I'm very happy with this. I, I have very little complaints. I would have wanted to see more. That's my only complaint. And I'm happy. So thank you so much for watching this. Um, I'm so excited to be able to see more about this. I'm happy to bring this to you. Hopefully you can see it in my face. We'll see you all next time. Thanks so much for the support. If you want to see Rob Zombie in his making of this film, I've catalog cataloged everything, about 20 videos. So make sure to check out my Monsters, Rob Zombie Monsters playlist and check out all those videos. We'll see you next time. Thanks for the support. And most importantly, be hopeful. Thank you so much to my supporters on Patreon, especially my diamond tier patrons. New patron Gerard D, David D, Citizen Kane 359, Greg S, Kevin K, Ricky, Sally, and Vito L. Make sure to check the links in the description to see how you could be on this list as well.